All right. I am so excited you guys have joined us today because we have an awesome topic. And really, it's not just about beauty, right, Ryan? No, it's not absolutely just about beauty, even though we are talking about collagen, which is known for its, its vanity and its beauty department, but it's involved in a lot of other things. And we're going to talk about those today for sure. Yes. So welcome to our Monday training where you will learn how our life-changing products can help you increase your health span. I'm Lisa, and this is Dr. Ryan. And today we're here to talk to you all about our collagen. Um, so collagen is the most abundant protein in the body. A lot of times people think of it as your hair, your skin, your nails, and maybe it's just for females. That's not true. So we're gonna tell you all about what collagen is involved in, why our collagen is so special, um, and why everybody should be taking it, right? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so it's not just like you said, hair, skin, nails, uh, it's teeth, it's eyes, it's the joint space, it's cartilage. It, there's all these different areas of the body. It, it's arteries, it's your vascular vasculature. So when we start talking about like aging gracefully and the earliest signs of aging are, you know, a lot of times muscle loss and, and premature aging of the skin, which is typically like sagginess. You'll start to see it in the face. Usually you'll lose elasticity. Um, that is all fine and dandy and true, right? Like that's kind of, but on the inside is what I really wanted to focus on today. I want to drive home the fact that cartilage, is, or sorry, collagen is also so present in our arteries. And as we age, one of the contributors, major, major contributors of disease is the fact that our arteries get more narrow and they get stiff. Right. And they get stiff. Exactly. So to go along with that, so in our, we start to lose collagen as we age. It's not just age, um, but there, there's other factors that I'll get to. But it really happens, it becomes apparent in our 20s and 30s. Mm. I'm sorry, I should say 30s. It becomes apparent around right. our 30s and 30s and 40s. And really when we, we see that visually, we'll see those maybe the little um, pros be, we'll start to see little wrinkles, maybe a little bit more hollowness under the eyes, a little crepiness in the skin that Ryan was talking about. But that's just what we're seeing visually on the outside. You have no idea what that collagen depletion is doing on the inside. And that's where we really want to hit home. I mean, everybody loves to decrease wrinkles and have their hair grow and their nails grow and their eyelashes, all that great stuff. But it's most important about what's going on inside our body. Ryan was talking about arteries. It also is in the gut lining. I mean, there's collagen is involved in so much. And we start to lose it in our 20s, about 1% per year. So, I mean, by the time you're 50 years old, you've lost 25% of your collagen. So if you're not supplement, supplementing with it, guys, uh, so many things are happening. Um, I mean, wrinkled skin, sagging skin, brown spots, um, brittle hair, gut issues, yeah. leaky gut. There you go. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. And we're back. Um, so yeah, so leaky gut, bone fractures, joint pain. I mean, there's so much uh, that goes into, or that's so much that is involved in uh, the body when you are deficient in collagen. You bet. So supplementing it is huge. And there's many different forms of collagen out there. I actually believe there's 28 different uh, types of collagen. Um, not all of them are as dominant as others. And Ryan's going to go into detail with you what types of collagen we have chose for our, pro I mean, our collagen peptides, um, as well as some other special things that we've added too. So the big question is, you know, the type, what types, how many types are we saying? Nine, there's 29, 20, I think, 29. 28, 29 types of collagen. And there's really, and being, okay, Lisa said it's the most common protein in the body. It is, it is. It's over 30% of our body, I believe is collagen, something to that effect. But what types are most important is a, is really a big discussion. But you know, it's to me, it's pretty clear, right? So type one makes up over ninety percent of your of your collagen. So you can source from bovine, so from from cows, the type one and three. And when you look at other sources and for other types of collagen, you know, you have uh, chicken cartilage, you have fish, you have some other unique ones. There's eggshell. There's some different things, right? Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately you want, we want as humans, right? You want to match our mammalian characteristics, right? And that's where the bovine is really superior. It, it has such, the key to collagen is its unique amino acid sequence. 
it's a triple helix. Like I, I know I joked before about this, but in high school, you probably learned about the double helix of DNA. Well, yeah. collagen has a very unique structure to it and it's a helical structure and it's a triple helix. And, but it's specifically the amino acid composition that makes it unique and very different from other proteins. And so again, we find that best match for humans in our bovine sources, okay. types one and three. So, <clears throat> and we hydrolyze it. So it has to be hydrolyzed because bovine collagen as a large molecule is a large molecule and typically wouldn't be well broken down and absorbed. So we've gone with a hydrolyzed, which just means it's a shorter segment. It's a peptide. It's a shorter, shorter protein. So that's okay. why, that's why guys, that's it. I mean, ultimately that's what you want. You, you want those type one, you type three. Uh, and then when you start asking questions about like, well, I've heard there's benefit of this other type for such and such for joint health. Well, yes, of course, but here's what we've done in Live Good. So we looked at the studies, the clinical research and said, we want type one and three. We know we want that collagen, but because we don't want to just fill it with a bunch of multi-collagen complex and say, this is the best all around thing. No, no, no. Right. You wanted to give- That would be almost like a little bit of this. That would have been like a little that. bit, yeah, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And, and then the, the, I don't like that concept. I'm very much on clinical and evidence-based. So some of these other ingredients we chose, they, tend, they actually are all patented ingredients for the most part. They're actually the one, hyaluronic acid's not, but the other ones are patented ingredients. And when we go through those today, you'll hear about how incredibly powerful they are, well-studied, well-documented, and how beneficial they are for those other things that people are looking for help with, namely joint health. Right. And they're really focused. People like collagen joint, collagen cartilage, I need my mobility. That's kind of like what I think I hear a lot of. You yeah, know what I mean? Definitely. And, you know, just another added benefit of it is that, you know, the fact that it is protein, right? Yeah. It's 10 grams of protein. Ours, ours has 10 grams of protein. 11? <clears throat> no, 11 grams of peptides, 10 grams of protein. Um, so, it helps with muscle. It helps increase muscle mass, decrease mm. fat, I, I, just adding to it. I do agree, but we don't count car. We don't count because remember, it's a unique acid, amino sure. acid composition. So we won't count collagen towards our protein. Right. But it still helps, kind of helps to replace the lean um, muscle mass it does. that we need, it which does. therefore decreases fat mass. So great part of a you know healthy, balanced weight loss um, program. For sure. Um, Real quick, guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss topics like this, um, uh, new releases for our new products, as well as just any of our educational videos. And we like your comments. We like your feedback, and we want to know what you took away from this. And also, in the description, there's a link that could take you directly to our uh, collagen peptides on our website. And make sure you click on that Learn More section as well. You can learn all you need to know about collagen peptides. Awesome. All right, cool. Um, okay, so we've talked about those type one. We have yep. type one and type three yep. in here. Mm -hmm. um, the most dominant, the most studied uh, types of collagen. Yes. Um, and also both, you know, sourced from bovine. And sure. The reason, as Ryan said, we chose those mm -hmm. is because of the most, most dominant forms, yep. but it's also from the single source that's more uh, related to our body structure. Yeah, the yep, yeah. for sure. Um, okay. And, and since it's bovine, it is grass fed. For sure, pasture raised, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then grass finished, right? As well, which is awesome. You and really tested, tested all the way through. Yes, um, and also in addition to all that, yes, there are three patented ingredients yep. which really help this collagen stand apart because there are tons of collagens out there on the market. Uh, velocitol. Yeah, let's start with polynol and a preflex. Cool. Okay, velocitol. Awesome for joint support. Incredible. So what it actually does is increases you, you, the amino acid the uptake of amino acids, which again, that's the goal. So once we consume collagen, it breaks down in the amino acids and those unique, uh, they get absorbed. And the, the studies that they have demonstrated somewhere is like increased by 60% utilization of the amino acids. Nice. And it does kick in muscle protein synthesis. That's what Lisa was saying about lean muscle mass. That's really one of the reasons why we're so focused on protein and, and amino acids because of that muscle protein synthesis. That's what helps us keep and maintain our lean muscle mass and keeps us more pliable and keeps our muscle tissues healthy. Right. It's ultimately feeling good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. It's solid, really solid ingredient for, um, it's chrome. It's, it's, it's a amylopectin with chromium, okay. if that matters to people, but you know, that ultimately that's a solid ingredient for joint, uh, joint support for sure. Awesome. Okay, and polynol. Oh, awesome. Polynol is a sugarcane derivative, which I know you get a lot of questions on whether it's sugar. Mm, yes. Yep. Do you want to answer that? There, there are no sugars. No sugar. 
So oh, sure. if you read on the back, it says sugar cane extract. Um, and that's from the, the, the polynol. There is no added sugars in that. It is just the ex extract, which is what polynol is. And polynol, wow, it, what an incredible wide range of benefits polynol has. I mean, it first of all, the the, the kind of the, the idea with collagen and elastin is that we want to slow the breakdown. We want to slow down the degradation. So like, of course, you know, things like watch out for excess sunlight or sunburn, right? Mm -hmm. so we'll talk about a little bit the stressors and the things that today to do to look for, but it does inhibit collagenase and elastase. So those are the two enzymes responsible for breaking down collagen and elastin. Okay. And so that is awesome. Now we're talking, we talk about, we want to supplement, build back, give the body what it needs to increase its collagen production, but we really ultimately want to focus on slowing down the breakdown and degradation. Same concept that we talk about with cartilage and joint space and joint health, right? right. Slow down the breakdown, but it's a potent anti-inflammatory. It's an antioxidant, has all these other benefits. It even inhibits COX, the COX enzyme, which is what how Celebrex, so a massively okay. successful sort of anti-inflammatory works, but like it does it in this, you know, it does it in a similar manner, which is Super cool, but a lot of benefits. I mean, it has health, heart protection, heart health. It works on the angio, well, I guess ACE en enzyme for those out there that know blood pressure meds, but the ACE enzyme. Um, it, you know, and it just, it's an incredible, well rounded ingredient. So I think uh, very, very happy to have that. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. So again, the type one and type two, I mean, sorry, type one and, and type, type three, three collagen peptides, velocitol, polynol, and then one more is a preflex. Oh, uh, your preflex, Boswellia serrata. <laughs> so we have a standardized extract of Boswellia. Boswellia is a, man, it's a tree that's grown in India. It's been used in Ayurvedic medicine for like millennia, like thousands of years and really potent in a lot of ways. But again, it's standardized to the AKBA. That's the extract that you're looking for in Boswellia. Um, using this branded ingredient, we know that we have solid, we have good sourcing. We know that uh, their quality assurance and their, their entire program of harvesting is sustainable. It's ethical. Uh, and again, with these patent ingredients, you get to use their studies. So right. they studied these in human subjects and published their literature, which is really compelling, all the benefits that it, that it has. So a lot of anti-inflammatory, a lot of collagen joint mobility protection mm -hmm. things going on there for sure. Awesome. And that's these three ingredients is what really sets our live good collagen peptides of, apart from the rest. Yeah. Um, there's absolutely. also hyaluronic acid. Yes. Okay. Which yes. is a very important combination with uh, collagen peptides. Mm -hmm. um, there... You want to say anything about it? No, go ahead. It, well, it slows down the breakdown of cartilage. Okay. People tend with cartilage, again, go into the joints, but people tend to wait too long to think about it because there's really no nerves in the cartilage. So they're not really being told, oh, this is getting uncomfortable. Until I'm getting, too late. Until it's too late. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then so uh, hyaluronic acid, very, very important. Um, yes. To slow down the breakdown of cartilage. Right. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times uh, I know, I mean, I when I think of hyaluronic acid, I think of for your skin. So yeah. just showing that there is so many other benefits that we don't yeah. visually see. Yeah. Um, so it's actually a common question, Ryan, that I get. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's about the vitamin C. To say oh. you don't have vitamin C in your collagen peptides, but I've been told that I need to take vitamin C with collagen. Otherwise, I guess it's a cofactor, right? So other, if, without the vitamin C, absolutely. it's not going to work as well. Yeah, you absolutely need vitamin C for collagen production, but I do not, I'm not a fan. I'm not an advocate of having vitamin C in the product. Uh, first of all, collagen is sort of pH neutral. We'll talk about that with the way that we we formulated this as powder versus liquid, but it's pH neutral, right? And when you talk about vitamin C as either ascorbic acid or natural forms, it does have a lower pH and it also tends to oxidize. So I wouldn't want it in my package and I especially wouldn't want it to, and, and for fear of it oxidizing and altering the pH and potentially degrad degrading the uh, active collagen peptides. Right. But you do need it and you absolutely want to get that out of your food. Right. As well as other or in a Other, multivitamin, yeah, you yeah, are live good, yeah. bioactive, complete multivitamin, yeah. the, the yeah. vitamin C in there. So it's again, it doesn't have to, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it doesn't have to be taken at the same time. No, you just have to, it has to be in your body. Correct. You just have to have abundance That's of correct. vitamin C. Correct. Awesome. Um, okay. Just look, forget where I just go over well, I could talk about Oh. Yeah. No. Well, you had just led into it yeah. about why we chose the powder versus a liquid form. So you kind of tapped into that a little bit. Yeah, and I'd love to go into that real quick. So when we have this powder, how do we how do we consume? What do we do before we consume it? Right? We we do this. We put it in in solution. Make it liquid. We make it an aqueous <laughs> mixture. That's exactly what we do. We mix it with water or mix it into a favorite beverage. Here's the two facts. Powdered dosage forms are the most stable of anything. That's why the pharmaceutical companies, that's why dietary companies, you, they transfer, they, they um, 
it, with powder. Powder is the is the currency basically, and then what you do with it into a finished product is kind of up to you. But powder stable. However, powder and anything really, tablets, capsules, gel caps, anything has to go into solution. Has to be in like in like an aqueous mixture in the stomach in order to be absorbed. It, can, it won't do anything as a dry powder all the way through. Right. So yes, ultimately I do like liquid forms, but as a per your own mixing, because if you're buying something that is done up for you in solution, I worry about a number of things. I worry about A, the stability, right? So how are you protecting the collagen in this example from breaking down over time? So again, the shelf life. And then B is the contamination. So water is highly, highly prone to contamination from mold, mildews, uh, bacteria. So that, that, that bacterial contamination is a, is a real risk. Now, companies tend to try to stabilize the liquid, you know, with like, again, with preservatives, but it's really aimed, the preservatives are really aimed at preventing that bacterial contamination. Okay. And by doing so, they tend to bring down that pH. And again, that would be an issue for something that's sort of pH neutral, right. like collagen. So, but again, going back to like the preservatives, I mean, preservatives and then a lot of carrier solubilizers, there's definitely a lot more chemicals and ingredients that you really have offer no physiological benefit. But just to make it stay in but, liquid. But just to make okay. it stay in liquid. So guys, please, let's get beyond the powder liquid argument and stop thinking that somehow the liquid prep stuff that's in packaged liquid is, is better for you. It's just flat out not true. Right. Love it. Yeah. Um, this collagen peptides, our lovely live good collagen peptides, guys, it's only $27.95 for members. So 30 servings, that's less than a dollar a serving. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, pretty amazing because I know a lot of collagens on the market are you know pretty expensive. Um, sure. Just had to throw that in there as we're talking about all the perils of our lovely collagen. Um, so you did go into a little bit. We talked about things Well, we said that age, start to lose collagen production as you age, but there's some other things that actually affect it. Ryan briefly mentioned um, sun exposure, too much yeah. sun exposure, stress, nutrient deficiencies, um, certain chronic diseases, excess sugar. Oh yeah. Like all of these things, guys, all of these things we're doing to ourselves can de further deplete collagen from our bodies. So we can't prevent age, but there's a lot of the others that we can prevent. But regardless, as we're aging, as I said, 1% starts in our 20s. We start to lose 1% of collagen per year. You've got to, sub you have to supplement with it. You have to. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And so the, the, the stressors, that brings my mind to polyenol. So that, remember that sugar cane extract we just talked about? Mm -hmm. It's actually really what's given this, it's rich uh, yeah. color in bioflavonoids, polyphenols. I mean, those are the antioxidants, but and that's your natural, that's not flavored. That's not anything. It's natural color. It's it's awesome, actually. Right. It has a very light tea flavor, but very, very right. light. Which is a very different color than most collagen. Yeah. Those are like, oh, man. like you know, yeah. clear. Um, but the polyenol has UV protection built in. It also oh. has a, plays an impact on the melanin production. So when you're talking about dark spots and skin, mm -hmm. and, so yeah, polyenol is good for that as well. So, But alcohol, uh, lack of restorative sleep. Right. I don't know if you mentioned that. No. Um, smoking, of course. I mean, guys, that's pretty obvious, right? For smoking, we know it's whooping our collagens, but... Yep. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of things, you know, look, just aging and just having the, 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 the normal course of living, but ultimately we ultimately, we know that there's more benefits besides just the health and beauty. What, yeah. Besides what you see on the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's really yeah. so important what goes on inside the body. Um, so along with the color, Ryan said it has a little light tea flavor. It does, but it can easily be mixed in anything. Um, uh, sure. I throw it in my smoothies. I, Mix it again for, I like to take two doses a day. I mix it again in the afternoon with my super reds. Um, so yeah, very, very, very versatile. Um, you can put it in your coffee, whatever works best for you. Or again, drinking it plain. It really is nice. Good flavors. Let's talk about best way to use it. So I think the first like, you know, 30, 60, 90 days, and really you could do, but you could do really double dose, like a loading phase mm -hmm. kind of of it, okay. right? You could easily do 20 to 30 grams of collagen peptides a day. Uh, no problem whatsoever. Uh, I drink it in the, sometimes before bed. There's nothing in there that would cause you to be stimulated. Right. Uh, dairy, I mean, it's not dairy-free, is it? No, it's, um, it's gluten, soy-free, non-GMO, um, keto-friendly. Right. I mean, it's yeah. it's dairy-free, but it's not vegan. Oh, there we go. That's what yeah. I was looking for. Thank vegan. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so you're talking about mixing it. Mm -hmm. 
I had a great question for you. No, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but more than once a day is fine. Absolutely. Oh, so you say the loading dose. Yeah. Um, can that be maintained? Do, does it have to be a loading dose or can you take, you know, uh, two to three servings of this on a regular basis? Oh, I do. Yeah. I think you can do that indefinitely. It's just a function of what are people willing to do? Okay. What do they want to do? You okay. know, what's the program they're signing up for and what do they, you know, what do they expect? So I think ultimately you get more out of it if you're doing two, two servings per day. Yeah. Um, because again, you're you're getting you're supplying your body with these really important unique right. amino acids, and especially if you have those side effects that you start to see or feel um, that you're, you know, deficient in collagen. Um, we didn't hit heavy on the gut. Oh, sure. It is like our gut lining is made of collagen. So as we lose collagen in our body, I think you know many people have heard of the term leaky gut, but really is like the little tight junctions in your gut lining start to open, okay, they're not, or they're not as tight. <laughs> and, and then food substances, substances leak out. So a lot of times we have these um, uh, food intolerances. A lot of times that's just what's going on. You have the permeability in your gut lining and food sources are getting out and your body's kind of attacking it. So it goes in this whole inflammatory cycle. College really helps heal the gut lining. Very, very, very important there. And I think everybody can use a little bit of that. Yeah, actually. So talking about some of the studies, I meant to mention this about the preflex, the Boswellia. Okay. There was there, the studies done by the company that came out with the preflex monitored a lot of clinical markers. Um, HSCRP, uh, which is which is one. And then hold on, I have a note here. Uh, MMP, MMP3. So, and they're both very, very much part of like inflammatory markers. And mm -hmm. so they both improved substantially. Just by the one prefix. Yeah, just by deal, yeah, just with the prefix, but statistically significant improvement in those in both of those markers. So very yeah, cool. Yeah, exactly. It is cool. Awesome. So again, $27.95 for uh, members. If you're not a member, retail price $34.95, still an outstanding price. So you cannot go wrong. Um great other thing, uh, other things to mix it with, like I said, in a shake you can put it with one of our protein powders. So if you haven't learned about our newest release of our whey protein, just use the video uh, link up here. And then you can learn all about that. Mixing them together, guys, is so easy, so delicious, how to get it all in one. Cool. All right. Um, I just saw a few things coming in. I figured I would try to answer a few, but uh, I think we covered them all. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And time of day was a question about dosing. Yeah. But I mean, time really, of day, really, it, it, that, the fact that there's nothing in it that would right. prevent you from taking it before bed, it doesn't matter. Take it yeah. whenever you can. Again, my first dose is with my smoothie in the morning. My second dose is with my super reds in the afternoon. That's what works for me. You figure out what works for you. That's it. All right. I'm awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. And until next time.